Evan za wanguu. Victory is all what we want. Alleluia, it's an every language. An alleluia song we never say is for our mouth in Jesus' name. Good morning. Happy new day. Happy Friday. December 9, 2022. This is Love Word, taking you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. Our heavenly Father, we thank you, we appreciate you. We bless you, we bless your name. Father, let this day for us. Don't let us be ashamed. Give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The topic before this morning is no excuses. No excuses. Our memory part shall be found in the book of Romans 2, verse 1. I read, Therefore, do art inexcusable, O woman, whosoever do art that judges, for wherein do judges another, do condemnest themselves, for do that judges does the same things. Therefore, do art inexcusable, O man, whosoever do ask that judges, for wherein do judges another, do condemnest themselves, for do that judges do the same thing. It is the nature of the falling of a man to blame others for their misdeeds. Right from the beginning in Genesis 3, verse 9 to 14, when God asked Adam why he has sinned, he said, It is the fault of the woman you gave me. God turned to the woman and asked, If, why have you done this? She responded, The serpents deceived me. The only fellow who didn't give an excuse was the same part. The same part who have said, The devil enter me, but the animal proved to be more responsible for its action than man. When you see a person who is always giving excuses, you have seen a failure. Giving excuses is one of the major characteristics of failure. In the story of the talent, in the Matthew 25, 14 to 30, the servant who has five and two talents simply give a report of their trade to the master. The only person who had an excuse was the one who failed. He could have succeeded, but he chose to cook on an excuse. He decided to fail. Anytime you are tempted to give an excuse, remind yourself, I am not a failure. If you know that no matter what happens to you, you will not give an excuse. You will sit up and do your very best. Many people use the government and the state of the economy as an excuse for their financial situation, wherein some others are coming out of poverty under the same government and economic situation. Never permit yourself to give an excuse at all unless you want to end up a failure. If somehow you are unable to do something right, instead of giving an excuse, hook up to your faults. When it goes right, you receive the commendation. So when it goes wrong, you should be prepared to take the blame too. If you arrive late to a meeting and ask why did you come late, don't say the traffic was heavy. You should have researched the route and factored the traffic into the travel time. Even if it's you have to get out of the room power ahead of the meeting. When you ask, why are you not fasting? And you say, I have issue with my stomach. Rather than admitting that you are not disciplined enough to stay away from food, that is an excuse. Decide today, no more excuses. 
decide today no more excuses i want us to read the book of genesis 3 verse 9 to 14 and our bible in one year second corinthians chapter 13 and galatians chapter 3 our hymn is in 14 nearer my god to thee nearer my god to thee our key point for today stop giving excuses and you will see tremendous change that will happen in your life stop giving excuses and you will see the tremendous change that will happen in your life let's pray Father, as you are here today, we bless your name, we bless your holy name. Father, all the power that can give us to be making an excuses, and we, Father, remove it from our life in Jesus' name. Don't let us be a failure. Bless us, bless our way. Bless our family, guide us, protect us, and give us knowledge and understanding in all the areas of our life in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother, this is love for all. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the like button. And the goodness of God will never depart from your life. Have a nice day. Have a nice weekend. And bye for now.